Greetings to all of my Pisces. Hi Pisces, hi Cross Watchers. So if you saw the short that I just put up for the week of June the 3rd through June the 16th, then this is the continuation of that reading, okay? Um, I just felt compelled to get deeper into it instead of just leaving it as a short. Because it does look like you may be in some sort of hard situation, but you could be getting some good news. This could be tears of joy that you're dealing with right now. Maybe you were feeling in despair of, um, in a hard situation in your life, some area of your life, three plus two equals five. So this is definitely change. You go from despair to tears of joy. A Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could definitely be significant as well as a Leo with that three plus two five energy here plus we have that leo energy here as well this has a lot to do with your stability some sort of investment i feel like um something is growing in a big way this could be your career this could be something that you invested in um long term that's actually paying off this could be a windfall or something like that but i feel like during this time pisces with this significant change in your life you're creating a level of stability this is creating generational wealth through not making uh taking risk with your money okay um this is somebody who uses their power when it also comes to what they have okay so this is you bringing finding some sort of creative change i feel like like you are putting your heart into something because five is that Leo energy uh, rules that fifth house uh, with Leo and that's about heart and courage okay it's also about finding creative ways to use your knowledge in some way okay and I feel like this has a lot to do with you creating some level of stability so this is like going from some hard times in your life to things getting better in some way and this could be career wise um it could be something that is uh, where you're kind of like creating that strong foundation for yourself around this time. OK. All right. And then you have the king of swords here. So you could be dealing with like legal documents, legal paperwork, something that's military based or something that or a person who's really military based or uh, or someone who's law enforcement or a lawyer. OK. Now, with this, it says unexpected money. So some unexpected money could be coming in. And if this is career wise, it could be you're getting an unexpected and um, unexpected pay raise or something or some uh, maybe a bonus pay a signing bonus or something um, this also could be related to you getting unexpected money from some sort of outside source okay um, and this could it could be connected to a air sign so let's get a little deeper into this reading for you Pisces and see what else is coming out I meant to bring my ginger tea up here. Oh, I made me some ginger cinnamon tea. And I meant to bring it up here. At the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups. And that's that um, first deck in Pisces energy. So whether you're a first, second, or third deck in Pisces, you could currently, if even if you have Pisces in a significant a different placement in your natal chart, you may just be going through something where you're going through a spiritual healing. You're trying to leave hard feelings behind. I kind of feel like some of you all are tired of feeling tired. Like I'm tired of focusing on the past, tired of, you know, feeling like uh, disappointed in something. So I feel like you're looking for something better in this life, a better energy, something that's going to um, give you a better understanding of how energy works and how you can control things better for yourself and make things um oh you got an ace of pentacles there pisces oh and a ten of cups i know that's right so something is being offered to you like something is coming in um and it's coming whatever this is this is the new start this is a new start to some sort of like new lifestyle or a new way of investing a new way of doing things um, wow, this your your level of maturity has paid off in a huge way, Pisces. I'm not sure what you're doing in this life. I just kind of feel like a lot of this with all of those readings that have been coming out, which you've been going through so much. This could be why this despair card came out. OK, maybe you were in a relationship that was just taking so much from you. People look at the despair card here and think of like, oh, it's a not hiring sign in the background. That not hiring sign could be represented. It could represent somebody not being fully committed to you because it's a lot of energies in the background. And this person is kind of like out in the cold with their only one trusted friend, you know? So um, 
this is a situation where maybe if you were in a relationship, you could have felt like even if you were married to someone or in some sort of long-term relationship that you did not have the level of support that you wanted from that family, okay? Uh, maybe you married into a family who just didn't agree with your relationship with that person. So you always felt like the outsider. If this is job related, maybe you were having a really tough time trying to find a job, okay? So you could have just felt closed out of a lot of things in life, right? And that could have put you in some level of despair. If this has something to do with like your community you could be the outcast in your community or something whatever this was i definitely see something changing now i don't know pisces maybe because I'm, I'm looking at this globe right here so maybe you found somewhere else to go where you feel like you know things things will get better for you in another direction okay so i'm kind of looking at all of these books and stuff like that maybe you're reading up on um something that's geographical based you know maybe you're like okay let me see what else i can do where else i can go king of pentacles can speak of investing um some sort of like security in your life and i feel like this is what you it's like that's something that you're getting or what you've needed it's like okay if you didn't get that level of support from a relationship you instead of you you maybe you sat there i'm not trying to be funny but maybe you sat there on the pity pile for a moment trying to hope and pray that someone would change their ways only to see that things were not getting better so instead of you waiting for someone to change their ways you change the circumstances okay and i feel like this is where this ace of cups is coming in at this is where this overpouring of love or happiness or tears of joy is coming in at so it looks like you have something that's changing in your life if it hasn't already changed especially with this number five here and it has a lot to do with your level of stability this could be a long-term job this could be some level of inheritance that you're receiving this could be something that you're getting um, to kind of already build upon what you've built. Whatever foundation you've built for yourself, I kind of feel like this is something building upon that. So maybe you were in a situation and people just kind of sat around and watched you pull yourself up by your, your bootstraps. Maybe you've had to do that a million times and the, you know, the, the other 999 thousand times <laughs> they pretended to see that you didn't have to do this other people in your past could have been taking credit for your level of success okay maybe they didn't want other people to help you so they said oh no i was the reason why pisces had that job i was the reason why pisces had that car i was the reason why pisces had that place so i really feel like you had to deal with some situations where you could have been uh, dealing with an environment or a family or a community that pretended not to see your your struggles, your your problems. And that could have, or maybe they just said you weren't trying hard enough or something like that. And that's why you were left out in the cold in despair. But I feel like instead of you throwing a fit like, you know what, y'all so fake, y'all lying like, I don't know what, I've always had to pull myself up. Y'all gave me bits and pieces and, and act like y'all gave me the sun, the moon, and the stars. But I've always had to pull myself up. Like, stop lying. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like now that there are more people that's more focused on how you're maneuvering through this life, people see that you always had it in you and you've always been doing it. So something, you know, you could be, but I feel like at this point, Pisces, instead of you dwelling on people, not really being honest about how much you've already had to do for yourself because i kind of feel like this played a role in you being in a situation in despair like people making it seem like they always had to throw in a cape to save you when it could have been the other way around maybe you were given too much okay so but of course if no one is listening and you have or no one is there to witness it then and you have more people that have betrayed you than that have stuck by your side, then this is what you're going to have to deal with in this life. But this also is a lesson too. You know, you could have been coming across a lot of karmics in your life. But I do feel like some you could be instead of you focusing on the betrayal or whatever, 
are feeling left out in the cold, I feel like you're more focused on how can you build your own foundation. Now, I'm going to tell you what I also see, though, Pisces. These are people you don't know, you no longer want to be a part of your world. I, whoever it is, I don't know whether it's a family, maybe you're distancing yourself from them. I feel like because of how something was done, you, I just heard it's the principle, something about the principle of it, the way something was done was just, it's like, you don't even want them a part of your world. So I'm not sure with this unexpected income coming in, somebody may feel a little guilty because they know you always hate it hard, or, you know, you always had to kind of do a lot for yourself or on your own. So when they saw you in despair, they kind of, I almost feel like everybody closed their purse strings to fit in with the group. It was like a bunch of people tried to fit in with each other. Um, no one wanted to really step up. So you stepped up in your own life like you usually do. But I kind of feel like with this despair, this person kind of has their hand in their, in their, their head in their hand thinking like, you know, and you see they kind of have like a, it's like something like I was going to say like a tie or something. Um, looks like an old suit jacket, an old work shirt. Like they rolled up their work pants or something. So this is a person who, if you look at them, this is just somebody who fell down on their luck. It wasn't that they weren't used to working. They fell, they just had a bad stroke of luck. Something happened. You know, they could have gotten this is this individual could have gotten fired or laid off or just wasn't being paid properly for the job they were doing. But whatever it is, it put them in despair. And I kind of feel like people watched you from afar, like, oh well, not our problem. But I do see a significant change. Okay. So that's the good thing about this Pisces. And it does look like um because you have created a foundation that no one could take credit for. Maybe people took credit for your hard work in the past. Who knows? Who cares? But this something that you're doing now, no one can take credit for. Okay. So this is what I'm saying. And it is, it's out in the open. It's in, it's obvious, you know? Um, so I kind of feel like there is, and I could be wrong. Y'all can correct me. Y'all can bomb me out in the comment section. That's fine. <laughs> but I could be wrong, but I feel like there is a energy of almost maybe a little bit of bitterness or like, it's like, you don't, for some, I keep getting the energy. You do not want them in your world. Any blessings that come your way, you don't want them to be a part of it. You don't want them celebrating with you. You don't want their accolades. You don't want them, the uh, the apologies. Maybe that's, maybe I'm using the wrong word. Maybe it's not bitterness. Maybe you're just done with them. Maybe you've washed your hands of them or something. I don't know. Um, but I kind of feel like you're in the energy now. You just want a new fresh start somewhere else with a, a total with a totally different group of people um you do have some unexpected income coming in from somewhere i'm not sure what this is maybe it's and it could be something just as simple as somebody owe you some money and they you know they finally giving it to you out of the blue you know or something like that um it could be a job that owed you some money and they finally giving it to you or it could be a, a something i don't know um, let me see what else is coming out. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? I want to see what this is about. This is some sort of new offer. Look, oh, a gift. Gift, Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. Y'all saw me shuffle the cards. You got something coming in. I don't know what this is, Pisces. I have no clue. I'm not even going to pretend, sit here, lie, speculate, nothing. But you have something coming in. To have gift and unexpected income coming out like this. It's like you're going from hard times to some major blessings. Why is this um why is this ten of cups here? Why is this ten of cups here? Why is this ten of cups here? I feel like this the very people this could be your own family. Let me see something. Hold on. Let me see what's coming out. Bad health yeah. The ten of cups is here. I feel like somebody may be trying to pull on your heartstrings like, oh, I don't feel so good. I'm not doing so well. Things like that. I feel like times when you were in despair, maybe you fell on some really hard times going through something. Um, 
you realize no one was by your side. No one sent a card saying, get well, or, oh, I know somebody who's hiring, or here's a few dollars. I know you fell down on your luck. I know things have been hard for you. Let me see how I can help. And I kind of feel like somebody may be trying to pull on your heartstrings around this time when they see you pull yourself up. This could be the very thing that somebody want to kind of pull you back into, a family who really didn't accept you or support you before, okay? Um... Let me see. Why is this King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? Why is this King of Cups here? Sorry about that. Expectations. So I do feel like around this time, look, 27, 28. <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck is thoughts. What is that? False person. Somebody who talked really reckless about you is now thinking about you. This is crazy. Like a lot of this comes out in your reading Pisces, but somebody who watched you walk away, maybe they said, oh, they'll be back, you know, or they're not going to do good where they are or something like that. I feel like you're thriving. You could be in a better environment around better people, um, people who are more, um, understanding or empathetic or something like that not that you're needy because it does look like you created you're creating some level of foundation for yourself so i don't see you as being like needy i just see that you could be in an environment where you have look at how this person is here by themselves right and you got all of those people in the back right seeing that this person is out here on their own Nope, they're all facing the window, kind of looking out at this person in despair and did nothing about it. Whereas you have somebody here who is going through something that may be going through a healing. I don't know, maybe you're getting, I don't know, you could be taking care of something, but they have someone taking care of them. So I feel like if you were in a situation where people had sort of just looked, sat back and watched you in despair. That was also their test. People don't realize when you see other people down and out or fall down on their luck, when you sit back and pretend like you don't see them, that's a test for the, for the person who's witnessing that, okay? When you sit back and pretend nothing, oh, it's not my problem, <laughs> well, maybe I, I don't care. You know, when you have that kind of mentality, it's a test because you never know when you may be in a situation later on in life. So I kind of feel like when people fell down on their luck, you may have been there for them, but maybe you were in despair because people weren't there for you. But again, like I said, it looked like you changed something, you built something, you've learned something and you have a gift coming in, some sort of unexpected income. You're expecting something too. You could feel, maybe you feel the energy of it or something like that. Let me see what this, what else is coming out for you, Pisces. Someone who watched you walk away is thinking about you too. The number 16 could be significant. Um, the number eight could be significant too. Somebody who watched you walk away and kind of like saw you going through a lot <clears throat> is thinking about you now. They also watched you reveal without them. I don't know whether this is your family, a community, an ex. I'm not sure. Um, but somebody has watched you reveal without them. They know that you are kind of feel like this person know that you're not, you don't really want to go back to where you were energetically, emotionally, or possibly even physically. So they do look at your picture. The Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah, you got something coming in. You have something coming in. The very people who watched you in despair and did nothing, did not step up are also going to be the very people who watch you have create either some sort of generational wealth or receive some sort of inheritance or something that is, is long-term. I don't know whether you're staying on a, a good paying job for a long time or something. So this is how this world works. The way you look, that's how this, that's how things work. Like the very people who watch and sat back and close their purse strings and pretended not to see you suffering are the very people who are going to be able to see you thrive in a, in a big way too. A lot of growth with your income in some way. Why is this mature man here? The queen of cups. Mm. I'm going to tell you, people are talking about now how many sacrifices you've made. Isn't it funny how that goes, though? <laughs> 
People are talking about how much you gave, how giving you were, how loving you were, how kind you were. Now, something about the talk, the conversations, the mind frame or the emotions within people are changing towards you now that they see that you don't need them. But that's just how life is, though. When people think you need them, they look down on you. When they feel like you don't need them, they hold you in high regard. Something that you're doing, you're building yourself up in a way. But I don't see you asking them for jack. Shh. Mm, I'm telling you. Let me see. Why is this unexpected income here? The Knight of Pentacles. Mm, something is coming in. It was a plan put in place to give you something. This could be coming from the universe or an actual human being. Capricorn could be significant here. An uh, air sign could be significant. Gemini, um, Aquarius, or Libra could be significant as well. Yeah, somebody who talked, they sat back and watched you struggle, Pisces. I am not, oh my God. The only reason y'all probably hear that I'm smiling is because I'm like, I'm so proud of you for, for just getting through whatever that is. Damn, you got a lot of tenacity, man. You're resilient. And it's like, you like, I, I feel like you got something to prove to yourself. Not really to them, but you have something to prove to yourself. Like for real. Like they watched you in total despair and did nothing. Mm. Now they changing their tune and speaking about how loving you are, how much you've sacrificed for so many people. But I feel like these are the very people who remained mute or or pretended like they didn't see your, your struggles. Now they see you don't need them. Now they're talking about how much you've sacrificed, how giving you were. Wow. That's a trip. Okay, let me see what else is coming out. Um, Why is this gift here? The Eight of Wands. Something is moving in fast. It's coming in quick. It's an offer, Sagittarius energy there. Some sort of, some, I feel like um, this may help you either travel more or you may have to travel due to your job. And that could be where your money is being offered. Maybe you're being, you're getting a promotion or something. Um, but I feel a very new fast moving energy when it comes to a gift or some sort of offer that's coming in. This could also be the universe, your uh, spirit guides bringing in some sort of new offer to really make you happy, Pisces, really make you feel good. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is in reverse, right? And it fell out on this Knight of Pentacles. So I'm going to tell you something. Somebody is kind of like on the fence or hesitating to see whether how far you can go without them. I feel like somebody is holding something in their hand, kind of holding it back. They know it will help your situation improve, but maybe they, I don't know whether they feel like, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know whether they feel like you're not going to accept it or whether they're just trying to see how far you can make it without them. If you notice, listen to what I'm about to tell you. If you notice this, People will give to people who don't even need it before they will give to a person who actually need it. They'll give their money to Gucci, Prada, even if they really can't afford it. People who, th those companies who already have not just riches, but wealth. Okay. They'll give their money to people like that before they give their money to a homeless person. Because in their mind, that homeless person hasn't tried hard enough. They don't know what got that person to where they are in this life. They don't know, you know, what pitfalls they've had to go through. They don't know, but they've already summed it up. It must be mental illness. It must be uh, uh, just laziness. It must be an uh, addiction or something that could have put them in that situation, okay, of despair. But so I feel like somebody is holding something back. Because they want to see how far you can go without them. And they're on the fence about giving you something. But I feel like you're kind of walking away. Maybe you don't even, because I feel like you don't, 
you get the energy that something is coming in. Maybe your hand been itching a whole lot. You're like, okay, I ain't seen the money. Where is it? Like my hand itching, like I don't know what, you know, like uh dreamed about money, this, this, that, and the other. What in the world had all of these synchronicities and all of these signs that show wealth and prosperity and abundance is coming in? Where is it? I feel like somebody's holding it. Someone is holding it just to see what you can do on your own. But I feel like you're in the energy of, it's almost as if I, hold on, let me see something. Why is this bad health here? Ace of Swords. Mm. And the Three of Wands. So I feel like Six of Wands. You're going to have some sort of victory. So I really feel like at this time, Pisces, you could be in the energy where when something finally does come in, your attention is not even on it because of what you're building for yourself. It's almost, okay, so it's like a homeless person going from being homeless to living in a mansion. And then now somebody want to come and offer you a, a one-bedroom apartment. But when you was homeless, wouldn't that one-bedroom apartment been, been more valuable to you than now when you have a, a, a mansion of your own? You understand what I'm saying? It's like somebody is waiting to see how well you do on your own before they say, oh, here, I was going to give you this. They're sitting on something and you may not even be interested in it because I feel like look at this energy here kind of turning their back to this offer to this night right here and the six of wands and really looking out at the possibilities with this three of wands of what else they can have in this world. So I feel like when somebody finally offer you something, you may not even be really tripping off of it or caring about accepting it because when you really needed it, they didn't want to offer it to you. They were holding on to it. For whatever reason, you know, Taurus energy is there. Maybe it was out of being stubborn or who knows. But this Ace of Swords here is going to, you want to have some sort of brilliant idea or clarity when it comes to this bad health situation. And the bad health could be emotionally, it could, it could be physically, but it could also represent emotional bad health or spiritual bad health, meaning that you need to detox something out of your life. You need to clear something out of your life um, with that Ace of Swords there. So I'm going to get... The Oracle cards, and this is going to be the end of your reading. Let me see what Oracle cards I want to use for you, Pisces. Um, yeah, because I really feel like at this point, what is them other? Hold on, y'all. Hang on. Yeah, because I feel like at this point, you're no longer. Uh, may, I don't feel like you were ever waiting for anyone to do anything for you, but maybe because of how much you have done for people through the years, you know, it could have been a family you married into. You may have been the one who did a lot for that family, uh, numerous people in that family. And when they see that, when they saw that things didn't work out between you and your significant other, they kind of took their person side and that's, you know, that's their choice. Could have been a community. Maybe you gave a lot to the community. You volunteered a lot. You helped a lot. But all they saw was oh, when it was time for them to kind of volunteer or help you, they turned their back. Or they, they said everything was wrong with you. And that's the reason why they didn't step up and help. Um, if this was your family, you know, maybe when people were down on their luck and your family, you said, oh, sure, I don't mind helping you, you know, this, that, and the other. And when the tables turn, they were, they were, they sat back and watched you in despair. So again, like I said, these same people will watch you build. And I kind of feel like they could have helped. They chose not to, they chose to withhold something from you, but they're starting off by saying something good about you, about all that you gave, all that you did. But I feel like it's a little too late now. You're because you're in this eight of cups energy where you're kind of just walking away like, I'm done. Like, I don't even want it nor need it. I don't want nothing from y'all. I'll see something somewhere else. All right, let's see. Oh, look. Eighth house and twelfth house. Twelfth house is Pisces energy. Eighth house is, eighth house is Scorpio energy. Um, At the bottom of the deck is mid pinnacle. I mean, mid heaven pinnacle. Yep, so you're getting a major pinnacle. This is like... <sighs> I just said going from being homeless, and I'm saying homeless because that despair energy looked like he's sitting on a box right there or a crate or something, to a castle. I said, I just said that before I knew anything was coming out. And 12th house is Pisces energy. Eight, eight, eight of cups is um, 
Pisces energy as well. Somebody is really thinking about you. What's up under here? Yeah, this is somebody who they're thinking about what was said about you. And look at the number 33 right here. Look at what that number 33 means. It's, that's like the number of Christ. You know, something, it's like the resurrection number. It's like people having regrets about what they did, but it's like it's too late. You know what I'm saying? The damage is done. The gossip has been said. The the fake, the, they believed the lies without hearing your side of the story. They helped spread false gossip about you to help put you in some energy of despair. They all played a role in it. If you look at the Passion of Christ, look at that movie. That person, Jesus was sacrificed on the cross all over lies. They took up for the worst people. You know what I mean? Criminals, thieves, liars, murders. They took up for everybody over him. So this is like people kind of looking back and thinking about the role that they played and something that happened in your life, you know? Um, and now somebody's thinking about, even thinking about the false stories that was talking, talking about, you know, that was told about you, but they're looking at the people who started these rumors too. People are kind of looking at the individuals who started these rumors, looking at them as a false person. The number eight is here. Again, Scorpio could be significant. Um, yeah, somebody's looking at how hard your life had to be and feeling like something was unnecessary, but they do understand why you walked away. They get it. They understand it. You know, and there I feel like this is the energy I'm getting and I could be wrong. This is someone who is kind of happy to see that you are doing it without them. They cannot take credit for anything. This could be people like, oh, I gave them a job. It's because of me. They was working it. I'm the one that told people to hire them. Or this could be someone who, you know, um, I'm the one who who bought them that car, got them that car. I'm the one who somebody just took a lot of credit for things and made it seem like any level of success you had previously was because of them. You're doing something now that none of them can take credit for. So now they want to talk highly about you and how much you gave and how kind you were, how good your heart is. But nobody saw any of that when you was in despair. That's how this world works, you know, um, and it's coming out in these tarot cards. And I appreciate uh, Spirit helping guide me through these readings. Sometimes I don't even be wanting to do them because of what I see. And then sometimes I'm so grateful that I'm seeing a lot of y'all get better things happen, better jobs, better community, coming across better people. You know, I'm so happy to see that because that's what you deserve. You don't deserve to be around people who continue to take you for granted, you know, and when they see you fall on hard times, they, they close their purse strings or blame you for everything. But when they see you build yourself up bigger and better than what you were before, now all of a sudden they have something positive to say. But all the lies that was being spread about you, people are looking at the people who were saying it, who was spreading it, who played a role in it you know and making and putting you in some sort of situation why is the six of wands here oh the six of pentacles is right up under that queen of swords the moon card some a lot of truth or honesty is coming out and this is remember i see you in the energy where you like i don't even want nothing from y'all i don't want y'all i don't need apologies i don't need compliments i don't need accolades i don't need public recognition from y'all i feel like you don't want anything from the people who could have stepped up and helped you and stuff like that but they were trying to justify not helping you i feel like you're doing a lot on your own and you're totally okay with that you know you're totally okay with moving forward with a new group of people who maybe and i don't know i don't this to me looks like even with the new group you're kind of looking at and what your other options are in this world you know now and it's like you're looking when you do look back you're you're expecting you're looking out at the world you're expecting for these people to act a certain way, to say certain things. You know, you're going to have people that's going to tell false stories about you and, and change the narrative of why they didn't step up. You're going to have people that all of a sudden, now that they know that you don't need them, now they can speak highly of you, you know? But I feel like this was a, um, a, a healing lesson for you, Pisces. And I feel like you've, you've child, I mean, you've overcome a lot of emotional turmoil and challenges in your life okay and so you've come i feel like you're you've dealt with the the majority of the karmics in your life you've dealt with them in your past now you're in this present energy and you have mid heaven and six of wands here you know how beautiful that is 
You know how amazing that is? That's like you getting what you want. Whatever that is, only you would know it'll be different for different Pisces. But this is like you getting what you want. Overcoming the hardest times in your life and really moving forward in a beautiful way. Um, so something I feel like that you've been manifesting is actually coming in. You're going to get some public recognition. But I also, I'm going to tell you, I feel like this is from like a new group or something that you're getting public recognition. This could be on a job. It could be in a new community. It could be around other, you know, a new family, a new people who you're chosen family or whatever. But if you look at the six of wands, there's always somebody in the background who is kind of like jealous. And it could be one of these people from your past. They're trying to fit in like, oh, yeah, I always knew Pisces could do it. I always was rooting for them. But the whole time that tinge of envy is still in their heart because for real, for real, they were hoping they was hoping and praying you wouldn't do it. But you did it. You know, you're doing it. OK. All right. That's the end of your reading, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for hitting that like, share and subscribe button for me. And I will talk with you. Amazing Pisces later. Um, again, you get that short. I'll, I'll put the link to this reading um, in that short. So those who watch the shorts can watch the longer reading, too. OK. All right. Sending you love and light. And